Some cars are big, some are fast, but some like the Audi SQ7 break the rules and decide to do both. Audi's hot SUV is based on the regular Q7's MLB modular architecture and uses a 48-volt backbone that powers both an active anti-roll setup, and a third compressor for the SQ7's 4.0-liter diesel motor. Throw in Audi's advanced headlight tech, virtual cockpit and infotainment systems, and you've got a car that wants to be both responsive and touchy. So just what is the Audi SQ7 like? Is it a peanut butter and jam, best of both worlds delight, or is its mixture of technology and power a recipe that doesn't gel? To find out, read the car magazine review of the new Audi SQ7. Basically, the SQ7 sounds like a V8 and goes like a V12. The diesel engine absolutely dominates the experience. The electric compressor exists to fill in any holes in the response time of the V8's two conventional turbos off idle, which are already plumbed and sequentially but still rely on exhaust gases to build boost. The EPC simply pulls power from the SQ7's new 48 volt electrical system whenever it needs to spin up, meaning it hits 70,000 revolutions per minute in about a quarter of a second, sending a short pulse of motivation into the intake to help get the party started. You never get bored with the near-instant throttle response and the accompanying torque tsunami. It does a very good job of feeling like a 12-pot thanks to the extra flexibility afforded by the third blower. Clearly this actually works, unlike those hair dryer spec items advertised on certain popular auction sites, albeit only at very low RPM compared to conventional turbos. Its not inconsiderable task is to help get the 2.3-ton SQ7 moving in the first place rather than supplement the prodigious performance already on tap. The noise it makes is also to be applauded. It's a dirtily purposeful V8 burble at lower speeds. Your neighbors will love it in the morning. Probably. The performance of the new Audi SQ7 is mind-bending. Put it into dynamic mode in the claimed 4.9 second dash to 62 miles per hour seems eminently believable, which truly is remarkable because the Q7 is a huge SUV. This setting also shunts the active roll stabilization system into its stiffest setting, resisting the wallowing evident in softer modes eerily well. It corners so flatly that it's almost incomprehensible. Your mind expects pitch and roll, yet the car delivers very little of either. You could play fantastic tricks on your six passengers if you switched modes without them noticing. Said powered anti-roll bars come as part of the snappily titled Driving Dynamic Sports Pack, which also includes a sports sender diff. Try as we might, we couldn't sense this working, such as the sheer grip and traction on offer on our blast through the narrow lanes of the Cotswolds, and rear wheel steering, so it's easy enough to park the thing once you've scared yourself silly. In fact, we found ourselves driving the SQ7 in dynamic for the majority of the time. It's a little on the firm side like this, the air suspension struggles to maintain the SUV's composure over lumpy roads, but everything else seems to be far better. The steering in particular really needs the extra weight of the sportier driving mode, because out of the box it's so wildly over-assisted that it's difficult to judge its response. You want to feel in control with this engine under the bonnet, and since you've paid for it, you might as well have it turned up to 11 while you're driving.